I am going to attempt to make solar shields for the windows in the van today. That's my mission. All right, so what I did was I just took the roll, started from back there, rolled it across, and just kind of roughly pressed it into place, and then left what I thought would be a fair margin for error. And then I just took that corner and I tucked it in right down in the corner, right up uh, directly against the rail there. And then I uh, pressed, I did a press fit. I press fit it right up against the windshield and all the way down to the bottom of the dashboard. And I pressed it in like that. And I ended up with enough left over here to cover this whole post. So that means I just had to slide it back that way. And I have a little edge for a tab, a little tab. And on the backs of these tabs, I'm going to fit, I'm going to press apply uh, Velcro. And I'm going to put a little Velcro tab right there too. And they're just going to Velcro in place. Here's my Velcro tabs. And uh, I'm just going to press those into place with that and uh, should be pretty easy to put on and take off. This stuff doesn't weigh anything so um, should be easy to get on and off and, uh, and that should work just fine. And then I'm going to have to tape another piece to it along the top and cut around for this. Oh man, that stuff is bright in the sunlight, yes indeed. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut another length off that roll, exactly the same length as that, and then I'm going to have to tape them together with, uh, I have a metallic tape that I used uh, on the insulation, and, uh, and then I'll just trim it to fit, that should be good. And by the way, folks, I'm wearing polarized sunglasses today. You can see the difference. Definitely, if you're working with Reflectix out in the bright sun, wear, wear sunglasses. All right, so there we go. All the windows lined with Reflectix. This one, and that one, and I have enough material left over to do both the driver's side and the passenger side windows. Um, I'm going to stop right here because I'm going to go uh, back to Home Depot and get some better Velcro. That stuff isn't sticking. This stuff up here, the adhesive just isn't strong enough. I think I may have to get some, some big chunks of Velcro and staple them to the plastic. We'll see. See the thing is right now I don't need to insulate my windows from the cold. It's summertime. Uh, what I need to do is to just uh, keep the radiation, the, sun's, the sunlight from getting in and heating everything up. But I want to have them removable because I hate being in the van when it's all dark. So I definitely want to get the Velcro thing finished so I can pull these off when I'm just sitting around or over at the, over at the park or something like that and I, you know, having lunch in the back or whatever. I want to have daylight. I hate being in the back when it's all dark all the time. That can be depressing. So I want to be able to use the windows for daylight now that it's not cold and then cover them at night or when we don't need the sunlight coming in. sun right in my eyes but look see this 
Mm -hmm. It just doesn't stick. It just doesn't stick. It's a very poor adhesion. So that's the problem. Now I'm going to see if I can fix it with some more, with some bigger, more industrial strength Velcro. They make Velcro that you can stick to a brick wall. So <laughs> maybe I'll have to get something like that to make it stick. But we'll see. So this is the uh, the Velcro that I bought to replace that skimpy stuff that wasn't sticking. This is industrial strength. Uh, I believe you can stick this stuff to a brick wall. So and it comes in. There's two strips each of uh, you know the two different parts of it, and there's, so there's four strips all together. So I already put up some of that stuff right there. I stuck it on right there. Now this is how I'm going to position this thing on the uh, on the reflectix. I'm just going to peel when I get ready to do it. I'm just going to peel this plastic layer off, exposing the adhesive. And I'm just going to press the reflectix up again. Sure, I get it positioned right on the uh, on the reflectix. All right, so there it is. There's my solar shield for the windshield. I think I'll trim off these corners right here and over there too just to make it a little neater all right so I have this this one done this is my first test of it All right. So I was able to pull that apart without it pulling the backing off. So this adhesive is going to hold. So I just put four corners on it. One, two, three, four. All right, so I've decided to make this window shade solar shade removable so that I can have daylight in here in the warm weather when I don't need the insulation so I've decided that I also want it to be light tight so that at night no light from the inside is is um, is getting out so and it has to be removable so that means only one thing velcro uh, I have to go out and buy more velcro so I've probably spent about I don't know maybe ten eleven dollars on velcro the roll of reflectix was I think uh, 15 16 dollars so a little over twenty dollars maybe twenty five dollars uh, so far I spent on this but I think this is finally it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I bought the Velcro strip. Come on. Um, holds five pounds. That's not a consideration. It's uh, five feet by three quarter inch. So five feet. If you're going to be pressing this against the frame, it's got to be light tight. So it has to seal tight around all edges so I'm gonna to have to run that strip all the way across here all the way down here around to here 
and back up here. So I'm going to need that five feet. I had to do a little fancy cutting because I have to leave that door latch operable. I can't be putting mylar in there. Boy, this is a noisy street. I didn't usually park in this spot, but there's a lot of open spaces here to park and it's in the shade. But man, there's a lot of traffic and a lot of noise. So anyway, I had to do some fancy cutting and do some repair work with tape. I accidentally cut a, a rectangular cut out here. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to more or less fit around this shape here. So a little fancy cutting and uh, I'm going to have to add on a strip over here to finish the rest of it. So uh, I'll get back to you when I've done some of that. All right, there it is. Pretty good fit. And it peels off just like that. Whoops. Uh, maybe not. In Houston, we got a problem. Okay. So, yeah, you get the picture. In order to make it really light tight, you have to have a continuous seal. Might not be necessary. Uh, I actually ran out of tape. So I have some gaps over here. I ran out of the Velcro. I hope I don't have to buy another roll. Just to fill in those gaps. But anyway, that's basically it. Now I can peel this thing off and get daylight in the van. Which will be uplifting. And, uh, and then I can still seal it up for privacy. I like that. Thanks for watching. That's a wrap for today. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends, and we'll see you next time. Peace.